Hey everybody, this is Perch. I, I hope people at least hear a few a few minutes of this before they immediately start posting because I think it it would be easy to jump to the, you know the wrong conclusions based on on biases and everything else from the very early part of the statement. So so please kind of try and get where I'm going from. I'm going to talk about an annoyance. An annoyance that's really hitting all kinds of pop culture fandom, um, comics absolutely as well. And it's, it's where I'm, I'm honestly asking the question. I don't know what people are getting out of this. Okay. So there's two behaviors. These are extreme behaviors. These are not, not everybody, not hopefully not even the majority of people I think fall into this camp. Um, these people are very loud uh, they tend to wander around everywhere and they're comprised of customers or comprised of creators or comprised of, you know, people in and out of the business. This isn't like a customer only thing. In fact, increasingly a lot of creators are doing the same behavior. And it's basically, um, and, and yes, uh, my examples here I'm going to give are purposefully a little exaggerated. Um, so we can, you know, have a 10 minute talk rather than a two hour talk. But like, if you go to, and, and you follow the, the walls of, of people, um, Ron Mars, uh, for example, um, you'll see that you'll see exactly what I'm talking about very, very quickly, not, not varnish, not exaggerated, just exactly. So. As an example, we could take this recent He-Man cartoon or Masters of the Universe cartoon. Um, as I've stated, you know, I watched it. Um, I wasn't terribly impressed with it. Um, I, but, but I wanted to put it out there that I, I have a bias against it in a lot of cases. I didn't care for the original cartoon. So, so therefore, you know, me being a, a grown-up, um, I, I, you know, I, I'm not going to assume that I'm going to like the new cartoon which are much more people would do because I think there's a lot of people. I mean, He-Man was not the most popular cartoon back in the day or toy line. G.I. Joe and Transformers, I think both were more popular in terms of just sheer ratings. You know, but if you liked He-Man, cool. Um, but if you didn't, then uh, hanging your hopes on the new cartoon being amazing and just for you seems weird to me. I mean, this seems uh, I, I don't know what you're doing exactly because you didn't like it originally. So why would you care about the new one? I, it's, it's fine. I just don't get it. So uh, the He-Man cartoon comes out, and there's there's the plenty of over-the-top kind of comments that you see uh, from people who are outraged and angry, and you know Kevin Smith lied, and what well, did he lie? Well, he didn't lie, but he kind of lied, or he lied one year ago, but then he didn't lie. There's a lot of this kind of swirl, and that's fine if if you're invested in this. I'm not I'm not calling you out. If you're invested in that, go nuts. Um, I, I think that the statements of like, uh, you know, it, it, it's kind of like when the She-Ra she cartoon came out and, and there were people talking about how She-Ra was their favorite cartoon. And I'm like, mm, really, though? I, I mean, She-Ra was nobody's favorite cartoon. I, I'm sure I'm sure that's not true. I'm sure it was somebody's. But I don't think that exaggeration in this case helps prove the point. But regardless, um, I, I, I do think, as we've talked about before, and I'm not going to go into it again, I think that the people who, um, you know, loudly and angrily are, are really, you know, up in arms about, about the Masters of the Universe cartoon, um, I think that's silly to invest your time that way. I'm, I'm speaking directly to you. I just think you have better things to do. There's, there's content that's better. There's stuff that's more enjoyable. There's, there's just better things to do, in my opinion. You can do whatever you want. You know, my opinion, I think there's just better, better ways to spend your time that will, you will be happier with. But the group that I really don't understand, you know, I, that group, I, I get getting worked up over something. I think it's over the top. It's eye rolling. I roll my eyes. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, it's your call to spend it how you want. And if, uh, if that's what you want to do, fine. Um, the counter group is the one I really don't get. And this is why I say, if you, if you look, you look at, but there's lots. Uh, Tim Seeley does it every now and then, Ron Mars, as I mentioned before. Um, lots of people do it. And I'd love to just sit down and, and ask, honestly, not sarcastically, not angrily, what are you getting out of these, uh, ah, I'm so happy to see all the man baby tears. What, that reaction is, is real. I, I, it's a totally alien and foreign to me. And increasingly, you see this in comics. Um, and what, what really perplexes me is that it's often done by either customers or creators who have loudly and repeatedly and, you know, much to the annoyance of some of my audience I know, uh, correctly 
at times said, you know, if you don't like it, don't buy it. Like I, like I mentioned before, that's a snotty way to say it. And it's, it's how you turn a truthful comment, if you don't like it, don't buy it, into a kind of a dick move. Because, yeah, that is true. If you don't like it, you shouldn't buy it. And if you're buying something and just hating it, then, again, what are you doing with your life? But um, saying it like that is often done in a sneering, condescending way, uh, like that Kelly Sue clip that I won't inflict everybody with right now. And, and you know, I, but, the, but you say that. And then... You turn around and when people are complaining about something, you do this over the top, uh, uh, look at all the man babies, look at all the incels, look at all the tears. Uh, I'm t I, I, and I'm seeing these posts of people going, the new Masters of the Universe cartoon is the best cartoon ever made in the history of cartoons, mostly because it makes all the right people angry. <laughs> Why? How, how is that a class? Of, what, what does that even mean? It's a great cartoon because it makes people mad? Like, that, that makes no sense. Particularly when you're the one who walks around saying, you know, if you don't like it, don't buy it. Like, why are, you, what, why are we elevating? You know, I mean, it, <laughs> nobody would love to hear it, but this is a five-episode little Netflix cartoon that, that's, like, who cares? In the grand scheme of things, um, you know, is this going to be remembered in 10, 20 years? I mean, there's still people who wander around remembering that Transformers movie, the You Got the Touch movie. And is it, are people going to be doing the same thing with He-Man? I mean, they're absolutely not. Um, they're, you know, despite all the hype that She-Ra got and it made all the right people mad and drinking man baby tears and everything else, nobody talks about She-Ra anymore. That's been, from, from when was last season? Like last year? Like, it, it doesn't, it, you know, if you liked it, great. If you didn't like it, it's disappearing. But why, why, are, why the, why do, why are people horny for making quote unquote, the right people mad? Like what's going on in your life that you need that? It's, it's, I, it's weird. Again, I'd love to sit down with some of these people and say, what, why, what, what's the point? One of these creators, um, I, you know, I clicked on the timeline and there were, you know, more than 30, 30 posts kind of expressing delight at the man babies getting angry. And it's like, dude, you sound crazy. Like, like you sound legit crazy. And I, again, I'm not saying that the uh, negative reactions aren't over the top. Many of them were. But why feed that fire? And, and, and what are you getting out of it? Like, you sp like sit down for a moment and, and realize you spent your day um, expressing delight at seeing Twitter users dislike He-Man. Like, what, what a waste of time. Sorry. I mean, I mean just, just complaining is dumb, but complaining trolling about complainers like we're that's we're on full-on idiocracy mode at that point like i i don't i don't get what you get out of it like dude write some comics <laughs> why, why are you doing this um i i so so i'm, I'm not being sarcastic here i legitimately want to know what what's the drive seriously what what are you why what are you getting out of it and and for you know some of you if you're listening if you're a customer I, I'm I'm not I'm being as, as uh, I'm being entirely truthful here uh, when you post a little gif of like drinking those man baby tears or you've got you know the what is the 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 one gif of the woman that's like spitting coffee out of her nose and and you're like what what are you what are you doing like why does this make you feel happy do, do you is 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 this why you're alive today to counter argue somebody who's over the top outraged about a five episode cartoon on Netflix? I don't I don't get that behavior. Now I suspect you know people. I post something like this on Twitter, and weirdly, and annoyingly, um, all the people who are angry about He Man came in there to to tell me that they had a right to be angry with He Man. Like the the point went zooming right over their heads. So we'll try here again. I, I, I personally think if you're outraged about this stuff, he man, um, you know, I, I you're, you're, again, you're welcome to do what you want. I just don't see the point, but you know, you be you. 
but the the more confusing group the more confusing person to me is this person who is very horny about making fun of the people who don't like the cartoon i i don't i don't understand if you don't like that opinion don't read it mute it block it just don't engage why follow your own advice like what what is why do you feel better about your life by calling a group of unknown people who dislike cartoon man babies i i again i i don't understand and then and then on top of all that is that now setting us up in a world where you either have to hate masters of the universe cartoon uh or you're woke or you have to love it because it not because it was good not because you enjoyed the story but because it made this invisible army of people mad. Like, is that, is that, God, what a dumb couple camps. I'm, I'm sorry. That just, that makes me want to watch none of it. Period. I don't want to be engaged in that. It's weird. Now, again, you may think I'm exaggerating a little bit, but go check out some of these people. Like they're going on and on and on about how awesome the cartoon is, not because of anything in the cartoon but because it, quote, makes the right people mad, it triggers the right people. And to be clear, I'm not triggered when I'm right, when I'm talking to you right now. I'm confused. I don't get why that's a feeling. But maybe somebody can explain it to me. Um, anyway, there'll be some good sarcastic explanations to me, but if anybody has the real answer, like the, like, where, where you, like what's going on in your life that this is all you got? Seems, seems weird. Anyway, <laughs> enjoy what you want to enjoy, dislike what you want to dislike, but for God's sake, enjoy it. I mean, I, I just want the people who are enjoying Masters of the Universe to enjoy it because they, they like the storytelling or the cartoon or the animation or something. Like, it'd be nice if you liked it because of what it was, not because of what some people don't like. I'm just confused. Thanks for listening.